can I talk about, I mean, you've looked really, really good. You look like you're chomping a bit to get out there now. Yeah, I am. I'm very excited. Like you said, chomping at the bit. What was it like last year not being able to play? I know we've asked you that before, but just even in the year before that, you were hurt or whatever, but just having to sit and watch. Yeah, it, it was uh, difficult. It was weird. Um, we had a scrimmage on Saturday night uh, that felt like live football that kind of felt like a game atmosphere and uh, it just kind of reminded me of how much fun football really is so I'm, I'm just excited to have that feeling on game day. What was what the, did you, I'm sorry what did you try and do when you weren't playing to kind of stay in tune with your teammates and stay in tune with the game and why I you just, were not playing? Yeah I just kind of took it day by day I didn't think about it too much honestly um, I just kind of put it behind me went out on scout team and um, it was a good thing because I got to get better and I got to help our defensive backs get better and that's what I was just focusing on every day. What was it like uh, staying strong mentally through all that obviously two two years one injury one eligibility how is it staying strong mentally just kind of like you said taking it day by day? Yeah I mean um, sport I, like all sports the mental aspect is outweighs the physical aspects I'd I would guess in every sport. Um, so I, it's just something that you just kind of have to do and adversity is going to get thrown your way and your response is the most important thing. So do you like, I, yeah, yeah, do you so. like playing special teams? Yeah, I do. I do. I do like, uh, I like returning. Um, I think I can play gunner. We have a ton of good gunners, so I'm not sure how many opportunities I'll get at gunner. But yeah, I like playing special teams. So uh, Sam Levick officially named the starter by Kenny just a few minutes ago. Oh, wow. What does he bring to this offense? What have you known, noticed uh, from him you know, in terms of leading this offense in these times? How's some time? Well, I think he's very, very talented. Obviously, you can see that. Um, I think he has some fire in him, which I think is a great thing. He wants to win. He wants to be successful. He wants to push guys to be them best, their best selves. Um, I think he's just a competitor. I think he, and I think he's a professional. I think he takes this very seriously. He's young, but I think he has mature qualities that can make him great, and I'm excited for him. He mentioned at Camp T that uh, when he first got here, he was maybe a little abrasive in his, his opinion, but that working with Kenny, he's really kind of matured as a leader. Kenny mentioned that, you know, uh, he's a guy that has really made great strides on the leadership council, obviously. Where do you see him kind of leading off the field or in the huddle? Um, I, well, like I said, on the field, um, he, like I said, I think that fire that he has, uh, really separates him. I think you can tell, and sometimes he gets on guys, but I think that's his job as quarterback and it comes from a place, a good place, a, a place of winning, a place of him wanting to win. Um, off the field, I mean, I think he's, he's not afraid to speak up. Um, he's also just one of the guys and I think that you know when your quarterback sometimes your quarterback has to has to speak up has to has to yell has to do certain things sometimes he just needs to be one of the guys so I think he balances that very well are you excited about you know you're a local guy you, you probably grew up watching this team mm -hmm. you know? yeah. does it make it that much more meaningful for you that you're playing for the and your family can come your friends can come definitely yeah I definitely grew up uh, watching Arizona State it, yeah, it for sure means a lot. Um, I, 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 I remember guys who went to ASU. Uh, DJ Foster actually went to my elementary school. Um, so I, I grew up watching DJ, um, Jalen Strong, you know, a bunch of guys like that. I, I, yeah, this is my home, my home school, my home state, so it means a lot. Did you have a favorite player growing up that was an ASU guy? Uh, Nikhil Harry. Nikhil okay. Harry, that's one I forgot to mention right there in the first part. But yeah, Nikhil was, was my favorite player. Did you play against him in high school? No, he was a bit older than me. Okay. So I, I don't I never played against him. I, I actually never played against Chandler. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's a very deep wide receiver room this year. A lot of a lot of young guys. As an older guy, do you feel like you kinda of take them under your wing as a as a veteran? Yeah, there's definitely a little bit of that. Um, we have some very talented young guys who have some great potential. 
Um, and, uh, you know, I've definitely been on a journey and I try to help them in any way I can. And, you know, sometimes that's just being a friend. Do you see them like you're trying to like pick your brain on and off the field, like on the sideline after running certain routes, just little things like that? Yeah, they do. They do. And I offer them everything I can. I'm still learning. Uh, you know, I'm learning from that guy, from Coach Hines Ward, which is, you know, so I'm, I'm learning. And I think the young guys are fortunate to have a good group of older guys to learn from and Coach Ward to learn from. So I was going to ask you, what is it about you, Hines Ward? Yeah, I your yeah. receiver coach. I mean, you have to like shake your head and go, wow, look what I got here. It, definitely, it's 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 pretty mind blowing. Um, and the reason I said Coach Hines Ward is because that, that's exactly why. Because sometimes I, I can't believe it. Like I grew up, I'm old enough to remember watching. Uh, growing up watching Coach Ward play, uh, some of these young guys I don't think are, but but I remember watching him play, and when when we got the news, I was just like, like is this real? Like I, it's Coach Hines Ward, it, it's crazy, it's crazy. Did it's you really cool. did you grow up a Cardinals fan in that? That I think it was 07 Super Bowl Steelers Cardinals. Yeah, I I mentioned that to him <laughs> um, that how after. Larry Fitz scored that touchdown. We were so excited thinking the Cardinals were going to win the Super Bowl. And then, you know, of course they had to come along and ruin it. But, <laughs> but yeah, of course, we, I had to mention that to him.